My name is Zaid Shalchi. I'm a consultant ophthalmic surgeon in the NHS and private practice. And having completed 6,000 cataract operations, I wanted to talk today about a very special lens called the Rayner Galaxy Lens. This lens is special because it seems to be a multifocal lens. That is a lens that gives patients good distance, intermediate and near range vision without glasses. But it doesn't seem to have the same profile in terms of giving patients glare and halos when driving at night. So let's talk about the technology behind this lens because unlike most multifocal lenses, the Rayner Galaxy lens doesn't have the same concentric rings that we are used to seeing on, mul uh, on uh, multifocal lenses. So the Galaxy lens is part of the Rayner family. The Rayner range is very well established. Rayner are one of the first manufacturers who ever produced intraocular lenses for use within the eye. They produced some of the earliest lenses used by Sir Harold Ridley, the surgeon who first placed an intraocular lens in an eye. So we know that they produce very high quality lenses. We know that this lens comes from a family of lenses that have excellent optics, superb materials with excellent biocompatibility. Now the reason this lens is different is because up till now whenever we've used multifocal lenses in patients um, at the time of cataract surgery we've always had to warn patients that the downside of having a lens that gets them out of glasses for three distances, that is distance, intermediate and near, the downside is that there is a risk of glare and halos when driving at night. The difference with this lens is that the risk of glare and halos seems to be significantly reduced because of the very clever nature of the lens that does away with those concentric rings and uses um, up a very, very high-tech optics, including things like spherical aberration, in order to achieve um, that reduction in the need for glasses, but without the significant glare and halos that patients can sometimes experience when driving at night. And Rayner themselves market this lens as not giving patients any bothersome glare and halos when driving at night. So let's talk about who is suitable for this lens. Now at the moment we are using this lens in patients who we normally consider suitable for a multifocal lens. So patients who are um, uh, suitable for a multifocal lens generally have normal healthy eyes um, and let's talk about some of the reasons why some patients cannot have a multifocal lens um, like the Rayner Galaxy lens. So sometimes there'll be an eye problem such as a cornea problem, um, such as keratoconus or Fuchs endothelial dystrophy. Many patients will have macular disease such as macular degeneration or significant epiretinal membrane. That means it's best to avoid a lens, a multifocal lens like a a galaxy. Some patients may have optic nerve disease such as glaucoma, in which case it's best to avoid a multifocal lens like uh, the galaxy. Or if a patient has severe dry eye or previous retinal surgery such as macular hole repair, it's best to avoid a Rayner galaxy lens. Now there are also some patient factors. So if a patient has very high vision demand because they drive a lot at night, or if they are a pilot, or if they're a professional photographer, and they're used to very high quality of vision and don't want to compromise on that, it might be best to avoid a Rayner Galaxy lens or a multifocal lens. Similarly, if a patient has previous trauma, um, such as uh, an injury to the eye, or if they have a condition called pseudoexfoliation, that leads to the lens um, supporting uh, structure to be weak, it's probably best to avoid a galaxy lens. If a patient has neurological disease such as multiple sclerosis or Parkinson, it might be best to avoid a multifocal lens like the Rayner Galaxy. 
Now, in terms of surgical technique, actually insertion of the lens into an eye is really not very different from a standard monofocal or EDOF extended depth of focus lenses, um, because the platform itself is very similar to all those platforms. The one thing that is important, however, is that if a patient has any significant corneal astigmatism, that that is treated at the time of surgery as significant corneal astigmatism can limit the effectiveness of the lens after surgery. And for the Rayner Galaxy lens, that significant astigmatism is defined as 0.5 diopters or more. So it's a slightly stricter target for which we would use a toric lens. Now a toric lens just means getting the lens aligned with the certain axis of astigmatism in the eye but once this is done, and of course we do this very commonly for a lot of um, eye surgeries, um, that lens generally stays put and does a very good job of treating that astigmatism. What about post-operative care? Now we generally say that an eye takes about a month to heal after cataract surgery. Um, most of the healing is done after a week, but full healing can take up to a, a month. With a Rayner Galaxy lens, because the lens is doing so much in terms of giving patients good distance, intermediate and near vision, that it sometimes takes the brain up to three months to get used to the new image that's being seen by the eye. And so we give that process a name called neuroadaptation and we say it normally takes up to three months. And many patients will notice that their near vision, for example, comes ahead and is clearer before their distance vision without glasses. Now we've been using this lens in Europe um, for about a year. I've inserted it into many patients and many patients come back and say they are very very happy with the result um, and they feel that their vision is excellent without glasses for distance, intermediate um, and near. But almost all patients will notice that one distance comes before another. And many, for many patients, the near vision will be clearer, followed by some weeks later the intermediate, and then some weeks later the distance vision. Now, I think it is important to really combat any uh, any myths to do with the Rayner Galaxy lens, because although this is a very good lens, it's not um, it's not a lens that completely does away with all problems. There is a small risk of glare and halos when driving at night and as with all lenses it takes a while for the brain to adapt to the new image um, uh, that it's seeing and certainly that recovery can take longer for a multifocal lens like the Rayner Galaxy than for a monofocal lens uh, that gives patients just vision at one, one distance. So it's important that patients are aware of this ahead of surgery so that they um, kind of understand what to expect. Now I hope this video has been informative in telling you about the Rayner Galaxy, what it can do, some of its limitations, who it's suitable for and who uh, it's not suitable for, in which case it's probably best to look at other lens options. I hope it's been useful. If you're considering cataract surgery, I would encourage you to speak to your ophthalmologist about the possibility of using a Rayner Galaxy lens to reduce your need for glasses for distance, intermediate and near work. I wish you well.